one of the things that the approval of lecanemab brings to the forefront and makes particularly clear is the challenge we face in the treatment of dementia nowadays. It, it is a reactive treatment, a reactive process. We wait until uh, the patients, oftentimes not the patients themselves, but their families, uh, bring up a complaint, a co raise concerns, and only then does evaluation start. Only then uh, does a process start that ultimately may lead to diagnosis and treatment. What we know from that approach is that it is too late at that point. Um, it is about late by over a decade. What we believe in Lions Health is that in order to meaningfully change the situation and, and therefore empower patients and clinicians to get the best of these developments of treatments, it is essential to have a sort of brain checkup, a, an identification of, of people that may benefit from these interventions before they develop cognitive impairment and dementia. If that requires a screening that can only take place in a meaningful way in the hands of primary care providers. But it, in order to be able to be done, it requires tools that fit in the workflow of uh, primary care providers that they're, they're trapped for time. They're, they have limitations in, in availability, even in knowledge, and, and they need the tools that in a short manner of time, in a very sensitive and specific way, identify those individuals who would particularly benefit from subsequent steps and, and, and subsequent uh, more invasive uh, tests. And, and what we're trying to do in Linus Health what we've done is develop such screening tools that can be embedded in the workflow of primary care physicians to help them identify individuals who would be at risk and therefore who would be most likely to benefit from further evaluation and ultimately treatment. Basically, in order for lecanumab and similar medications to be indicated, it is necessary to demonstrate an impairment in cognitive ability or memory, number one. And number two, to demonstrate that that impairment is due to Alzheimer's disease. In other words, that there is amyloid deposition and amyloid toxicity causing the cognitive impairment. That requires, the latter requires establishing a biomarker positive status, which is done nowadays with a PET scan, which is expensive, or with an invasive spinal tap to get cerebral spinal fluid. In the future, we hope that plasma biomarkers, blood tests it might be able to do that. But that will be necessary, but not sufficient. As I was mentioning, it will always be critical to demonstrate that there is cognitive impairment in addition to that. And that requires an evaluation that traditionally is done by neuropsychologists and takes uh, many um, hours of testing. And oftentimes the tests that are available are not very sensitive. That's why the specialists are necessary and the, the long duration of testing. At Linus Health, we've developed very short, very sensitive tests that capture the process by which we do a cognitive uh, evaluation in such a manner that in a matter of minutes, we can more sensitively than traditional neuropsych testing identify deficits in cognition. And so therefore identify individuals who can benefit from this kind of medications earlier and therefore offer treatment earlier, which we know to be more impactful.